the rainforest in, in Panama, the tropical forest in general, composes nearly 65% of our land. Uh, nearly 30% of that land mass is declared protected area. A great deal of our economy depends on the health of our forest ecosystem. The Panama Canal is the heart of our economy. Uh, the Panama Canal's uh, uh, business is to make sure that we have enough fresh water so that the global maritime industry uh, can operate uh, without interruption. 65% of the country is forest, and that provides the water that we need for the Panama Canal to operate. So Red Plus is key for the development of our economy. We are known to be the bridge of the Americas. We house uh, nearly a thousand species of bird, and uh, we have more tree species than the entire US and Canada. Also, we have a man mouth such as uh, the jaguar, that browses around the whole uh, Mesoamerican region. Also, we have the RP eagle, the, the largest flying predator in, in the world. Currently, the main driver of deforestation continues to be agriculture. Uh, unfortunately, in the 60s, we passed a couple of laws uh, uh, to promote the agricultural development of, of the country. And those laws were incentivized by uh, national uh, banks uh, at least we established at least three financial mechanisms to enhance uh, our capacity to produce food. So in that sense, uh, we lost a little over two million hectares of land because of the agricultural uh, development of the country. Um, now we have a, a new law in place. Uh, it's called the Alliance for the Million Hectares Law. And um, basically now the government is incentivizing the restoration of forest ecosystem through the, this new scheme that heavily relies also on the international finance provided in the context of the UNFCCC. In order for us to grow the, the protein that we needed to consume, uh, we, we cut forests. And that was basically the main driver of deforestation. Now with the new law, we have the opportunity to continue raising cattle more sustainable, more intensifying. Before, cattle would have at least a, a hectare per head with the new intensifying uh, technologies, we can, for instance, in 100 hectares of land, we can at least reforest about 95% of the land and then less than 5% uh, dedicated to uh, raising cattle uh, so that you know, we, we eradicate this traditional conflict between trees, biodiversity and agriculture. So we have a technology intervention in place, we have a new financial mechanism in place and we have a new both legal and institutional framework to tackle deforestation. But at the end of the day, we need international support. This international support in the shape of the uh, finance, financial mechanism could enable us to fast track all the intervention that we are uh, doing at the local level. The financing that developing countries uh, will receive in the context of Red, of Red Plus is mostly going to be used to expand the forest borders. So for instance, uh, we have a conflict in the, in the, in the frontier between the agriculture and the, our protected areas. Now developing countries will have the resources to reforest those, uh, those areas, to provide financial incentives to these small uh, landowners. The key message that I have for multinational corporations is that they have to look beyond the boundaries of their business model. And Red Plus provides an excellent opportunity. Instead of bringing devastation to a forest, we bring economic prosperity at the local level.